building where they have their restaurant, so that's our next stop because I can't feel with what I'm going to Look at this. Look at this outdoor area where you can eat, where you can play horses. Maybe they don't make you bring your own. We don't know. We don't know. Oh, wow. It looks like there's a light Really close to the cabins. They have overflow parking right there for people that come to play out on the play equipment, so that's really nice. We're gonna so try the one. Fire wheel loop. There's the bounce pillow. When you first walk in over to the right, we're in cabin 407. Is it seven or nine, guys? 407, I think. You've got the TV. Becca says it has Roku on it. I guess those are your remotes. You have this couch, which I think is a pull-out couch. I've already set some of my stuff down. Over to the left, you have, it's a little single bed. And then we have the linen package, so they put some linens there. I don't think those are included. Um, you have stairs up to a really cool loft up there. A little kitchen area with the dishwasher. Everything up here. We have this little bathroom. This is the single bathroom here at this space. Um, it has towels. We have little simple human dispensers um, for all of your showering needs. Everything is really new here. They do have Kleenex, that's always important. Toilet, etc. Let's see what they have under here. Oh, this is great. So they actually have a hair dryer, like a hotel. Welcome to the master or the primary. It's the new thing, the primary. We have a TV, we have remotes, we have a little counter right here, which is good because it's always good to have a place to put important things. I'm an out of sight, out of mind kind of girl. If I put them in a drawer, I would never find them again. We have a closet, has some hangers, it has an extra pillow. What I'm loving so much is that there's a little spot right here by an outlet where you can put your phone, charger, CPAP, whatever you might need. There we go. There are the rest of the lights. So it's very cute. It's just big enough. So we'll come out here and I'll show you upstairs. But first we're going to take a second and hop in the pantry. I'm going to try to climb up here. You have to crawl. You have to crawl, yeah, because it has a very low ceiling. So you only have maybe hmm, 30 inches or so up here. But you have, I guess, a bed over here that looks out over the entire living space. It's a full, I believe. And then you have two more full-sized beds. It'll probably get warm up here, but there's also a really pretty view. It's really um, nice and bright, and it'll accommodate a lot of people. So just spinning around, you can see that there are a lot of like, I think transom lights and or windows so that you can get a lot of light in here. There's another AC unit. Everything is fresh and new and bright and light and airy and exactly what you need. Very accommodating for a lot of people. Looking out the door, you have a nice view out there. A couple of Adirondack, please don't do that. Adirondack chairs, you've got a fire pit, a grill. This is all shaded nicely.
one of our favorite parts is this outdoor picnic area with beautiful lights. You have a outdoor sort of kickball billiards area. You have a horseshoe area. You have mini golf, bocce ball. I have the golf cart all configured to shine the lights up on the bounce pillow. The kids, it appears, are assessing the situation, determining if it is inflated enough, and they are loving it. Now, on the FIMFO website, it does say that the bounce pillow is only open from dawn until dusk. The problem with that, at this location especially, is that the bounce pillow is not covered. When it is 102 plus degrees outside, that bounce pillow, the plastic or rubber on top actually gets very, very hot. There is no cover or sunshade over it. It's just a little bit tough during the summer when it is so hot in Texas because um, oftentimes if you are not at the pool for those late afternoon hours, you're back resting and then when sun falls, the kids again when to go out, get out that last little bit of energy and um, it would be great if they had a little bit more lighting around the campground. There are a couple zip lines actually, which I think is pretty brilliant. I'm gonna, you might be able to see some of this. I've shined my light on it. I love that this park has a zip line. It actually has two zip lines um, parallel to each other. I love that the campgrounds are starting to think about these sort of tween aged kids and still creating a special experience for them. So thank you, Thimpo Waco. Good morning. It is uh, 9.20 and I have one kid in the shower, which is great success, and the other one is hiding in bed still because I think they stayed up much later than I did. We were out adventuring last night with all the fun activities and everything, so I made a little bit of breakfast. I am trying to get the troops out of bed and rolling. All the kitchen stuff worked great. Uh, everything is going well. I have everything I need here. They definitely did a great job. Well stocked here and we are about to go on a tour and uh, then the rest of the day we'll probably be at like the pool and water area. It is our final night at the Fimfo. We are here at the Wiffle Ball Field that has very few lights and I'm using the golf cart to create. We did talk to the general manager today and what we found out was that any equipment that you need to play any of the games like the mini golf or the horseshoes whatever it is you actually just go into the general store and you can rent out the equipment. You just write your name and your site number and maybe the time that you're taking it out and then when you bring it back they either check it or you let them know and you check off that you've returned it. So that's fantastic that all of that sort of equipment is included because a lot of places do have an upcharge especially for the mini golf and stuff. We almost always see an upcharge for the mini golf. Well you don't have that here which is amazing. Apparently I just found the horn. Oh. Okay, but one of our big issues is, and it's so easily resolvable, so I hope that they will maybe consider this moving forward, is that the playground and everything, they are not lit up. The mini golf, all of these activities out here near the pool are not lit up. And now it is close to nine o'clock at night. Even if quiet hours start at 10, having everything lit up between seven and 10 would be fantastic. Very important for, you know, safety and visibility. Definitely the, the critter issues. The other thing that I definitely wanted to point out that's so fantastic about the area is that all of the activities are in one sort of central location. You have the pool, Let's see if I can show you. 
the pool and all of that stuff is over behind this tree maybe you can see the top of it and everything so the pool and all the pool features are over there and right behind me which is outside of the general store if you can see that there is uh, all of the activities all the sporting activities the billiards the mini golf situation you have the uh, playscape over here and then further down around you have the, where's my finger there we go the bounce pillow and um, there's also it's a tennis court slash pickleball I really don't know what the difference is the place to get the equipment is also right here it is so centralized all of the RV and the cabin spots are built up around this central hub there are a lot of spots that are so very close to this activity center that you really don't need a golf cart. We have a golf cart on this day, but we are literally right across the road from this activity hub. So if we had an RV spot right there, or if we had a similar cabin to what we currently have um, over there, which is directly behind me, um, we would not get a golf cart. You just don't need it. So my boys are out here on wiffle ball. I think I'm gonna go figure out where the girl went. It's always a mystery.